Kintera's murder in Glenpoint while in captivity is considered by some to be the end of the pure strain of Septim blood in the imperial family. Certainly it marks the end of something significant. Oriel III not only proclaimed himself Emperor of Tamriel, but also Oriel Septim III, taking the eminent surname as a title. In truth, his surname was Mantiarco, from his father's line. In time, Oriel III was deposed and his crimes reviled, but the tradition of taking the name Septim as a title for the Emperor of Tamriel did not die with him. For six years, the War of the Red Diamond, which takes its name from the Septim family's famous badge, tore the empire apart. The combatants were the three surviving children of Pelagius Septim III, Potima, Sepphoris, Magnus, and their various offspring. Potima, of course, supported her son Oriel III, and had the combined support of all of Skyrim and Northern Morrowind. With the efforts of Sepphoris and Magnus, however, the province of High Rock turned coat. The provinces of Hammerfell, Somerset Isle, Valenwood, Ellswear, and Black Marsh were divided in their loyalty, but most kings supported Sepphoris and Magnus. In 3 E127, Oriel III was captured at the Battle of Ikadag in Hammerfell. En route to his trial in the Imperial City, a mob overtook his prisoner's carriage and burned him alive within it. His captor and uncle continued on to the Imperial City and by common acclaim was proclaimed Sepphoris I, Emperor of Tamriel. Sepphoris' reign was marked by nothing but war. By all accounts, he was a kind and intelligent man, but what Tamriel needed was a great warrior, and he, fortunately, was that. It took an additional ten years of constant warfare for him to defeat his sister Potima. The so-called Wolf Queen of Solitude who died in the siege of her city-state in the year 137. Sephira survived his sister by only three years. He never had time during the war years to marry, so it was his brother, the fourth child of Pelagius Septim II, who assumed the throne. The Emperor Magnus was already elderly when he took up the imperial diadem, and the business of punishing the traitorous kings of the War of the Red Diamond drained much of his remaining strength. Legend accuses Magnus' son and heir Pelagius Septim III of patricide, but that seems highly unlikely, for no other reason than that Pelagius was king of solitude, following the death of Potima, and seldom visited the imperial city. Pelagius Septim III, sometimes called Pelagius the Mad, was proclaimed emperor in the 145th year of the Third Era. Almost from the start, his eccentricities of behavior were noted at court. He embarrassed dignitaries, offended his vassal kings, and on one occasion marked the end of an imperial grand ball by attempting to hang himself. His long-suffering wife was finally awarded the regency of Tamriel, and Pelagius Septim III was sent to a series of healing institutions and asylums until his death in 3E153 at the age of 34.